Boys and girls, welcome to another episode of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. Just kidding. Today we're going to look at how to program a new key, a new immobilizer key using TechStream. Okay, so I'm in a 2002 MR2 Spider with uh, SMT. And uh, we're going to program a new key. So what we did is we bought a key blank, transponder key blank off of eBay for just a few bucks. We brought this uh, key blank down to a locksmith and had it cut the same as a um, original key. Okay. And now we need to program it and we're going to use that. We're going to do that using TechStream. So I have the original key for the car. So first I'm going to connect to the vehicle using TechStream and in order to do that I have to put the key in the ignition, turn it to on. Okay, I have my TechStream cable is connected down under the dash right here. Alright, so now I just press connect to vehicle up here in the menu in TechStream. And uh, TechStream does its thing, initializing USB communication, flashes a couple of things on the screen. Okay. All right, so it has correctly identified the vehicle. I'm going to set the option as sequential SMT and press next. So with TechStream you always have to be patient. Everything takes a long time, but it's worth the wait. I promise you. Alright, now we're in the main menu. And these are the items of the main menu. We have engine, we have sequential transmission, cruise control, traction control, uh, the, um, what do you call it, um, power steering. And here is the immobilizer and the airbag. We want to go in the immobilizer, so we just click on that. And then we click the arrow down in the right hand corner. And we wait again. We go in the immobilizer menu. Okay, it gives us a status message. What we want to do is click on utility on the left hand side here. Okay, when we click on utility, we want to select the transponder code registration. This this function allows us to register a new key and then we press on the arrow in the bottom down here hope you can see everything that I'm doing okay and uh, here it is welcome as transponder key registration this function is used to register and immobilize key and blah 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 all right so we just press next all right so what we do remove the key that's already in the cylinder insert a registered key so we put the same one back in and turn the ignition switch to on okay so we're gonna do that we're gonna remove the key from the ignition Insert it back in, turn it to on. Then we're going to press next. So, remove the master key within 20 seconds, then press next immediately. Okay, we did that. Insert a new key within 10 seconds, then press next. Okay, we did that. So, now it is registering. Now it is registering and it tells us the time remaining to register. And we have to wait. We just have to wait. We just have to wait for it to... I, I don't know why they need to take this long. It's all nonsense, probably. 
it's uh, to make you feel like you're doing something really difficult, uh, which it is not. It is just changing a few little codes on a programmable chip in the ECU. Transponder is complete, so the key should be good, and we can exit. All right, and now let's test our key and see if it works. Gonna remove it. Then I'm gonna put it back in. Okay. Gonna put it back in. And there. We started the car. So we're good. That's all it took. The ABS light is flashing because it does not like the text stream cable being connected. So you just saw how to program a new key using TextStream much easier than any of the other methods out there. Uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.